Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how we can set customer and vendor for self-service portal using Mac CRP software. For that, we need to create a subdomain. If you haven't created a subdomain, so you can go to File, Mobile Web Remote Access, and here you can create the subdomain. For example, my company name is Mac Business Solution, so I can have it as Mac or Mac Business as well. And then we need to save. So every company must have a unique subdomain. After creating a subdomain, we need to go to File, Book Setting, Enter Web, Enable Customer Vendor Self Service Portal should be yes. And if you want your customer to see the product group, brand, category, stock, rate, then it should be turned to yes. Next, after saving this, we need to give the username and password for the customer as the vendor. So we need to go to Master Customer Search, enter the customer's name, click on Edit, Other Details, and here you have to enter the username and the password, and then click on Save. Make sure that you have entered the email ID of the customer in the address detail as well. Then again, we are going to search the customer, other details, and then send email. So the customer will be receiving an email with their username, password, subdomain, and the link of the URL. Now next is that we are going to create a username and password for the vendors. So masters vendors search. Enter the vendor's name. Edit other details. And here you have to enter the username and password, and then click on save. Next, we are going to see what the customer and the vendors are going to see in the web access. So here they have to enter the web URL in the Google. So first, we are going to see the features for the customers. So here you have to enter the username and password of the customer. Click on sign in. This is a dashboard here that the customer can see their account balance, sales, receipts, pending bills, total orders, pending orders as well. So they can even see whole weeks. They can even customize dates according to their own preference. Next, if they click on a menu here and click on sales order, they can place an order here. For example, they can put it manually as well. Enter the quality, and then they can just pay. So any orders which are placed through web access, the company will be notified through the email mentioned in the user master for the admin, and they can even see it in the pending sales order. Next, if they click on the bulk order, they can enter the quantity for bulk products, and they can even search the products according to their group name and the brand. For example, I want silk. So all the silk items with the group name will be shown here, and then they can enter the quantity, and then click on proceed, and then they can just save. Next is if they click on load last order details, previous order details can be shown here with this quantity, and they can just modify the quantity for the new order, and then they can place. Or they can even delete one or two items if they don't want, and then they can just save. Uh, next is bulk load my previous ordered products. So if they click on that, they can see all the products which they have ordered till date, and they can enter the quantity manually, and then they can just click on proceed and save. Next is Pending orders, so they can see all the pending orders here. Next is my orders, so they can see all the till date my orders. Next is invoices, so if they click on the date range here, so here they can see all the invoices till date. And if they want to take a printout for any invoices, they can just click on that invoices and click on print here. Click on preview. So they can see all their invoices here for which they want to take print. Next is ledger. 
so they can see the ledger and even take a print of the ledger so this is all the features for the customers now next you are going to see for the vendors so you are have to enter the username and password for the vendor click on sign in next is the dashboard here where the vendors can see their account balances pending bills total orders pending orders here so if they click on the menu here they can see their invoices ledger next is vendor stock and sales so here they can see how much quantity they have sold to the company and how much company has sold the product uh, and with what value they have sold so these are the features for the vendors so that's it for today's session guys thank you